So, in your Go Math book, we're going to be turning quite a few pages to get to the beginning, okay? So, we want to be on chapter one, and that starts on page nine. So, if I look in the bottom corner, I want to make sure that I get to page nine. And there's a kitten and a mommy cat, and it says chapter one. This is the page that we should be on. Make sure you have your pencil and your crayons ready. So this is what our math is going to look like from here until the end of the school year. So we don't have those worksheets anymore. All of your math is going to be out of this book. I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to have you guys keep turning until you get to page 13. If you look here, it says 13, and there's some ladybugs at the top. If you are on this page with me, you'll see this page on this side's green. This is the page we're going to start on. So go ahead and use the raise hand button to let me know that you are on the same page as me. Which number is it? Look right here. 13. 13. Do you see that? Okay. Cadence is ready. Petra is ready. So, this might take us a little bit longer than um, our old homework that we had when you guys were with Miss Cheatham. This is a little bit more tricky, but it's going to be um, stuff that we do together. I will show you the parts that you guys have for homework. It will be something that you have to do at your house on your own time. Then, you will be asked to put those in your folder to bring for packet pickup, okay? So you guys do have homework now that you are going to be returning, okay? For chapter one, this first lesson, chapter 1.1, um, we might be doing the homework together so that you guys can see what it looks like and what I expect. And then afterwards, you guys will have other pages that you do um, that you will do all by yourself at home, okay? We're going to look through here. And I'll read all of this to you, and we'll follow along with what the directions tell us to do. So this says, draw to show adding to. So remember we talked about plus, that plus symbol. Write how many there are. Okay, so take your pencil. I'm going to use my, my marker, but that's just because it shows up better on here. You are going to use a pencil. This down here says, there are three ladybugs on a leaf. So let's go ahead and draw our leaf. It can look like any shape that you want. I'm just going to draw a shape like this. Super easy. We don't want to take too much time when we're using our art during math class. Paige, do you have a question? No. Okay. I'm going to read the problem. There are three ladybugs on a leaf. So remember when we um, are drawing for math, we want to just do really simple drawings. So I'm going to draw my three ladybugs. And that's what they look like. Two more ladybugs join them. One, two. How many ladybugs are there all together? So I'm going to call on a student to tell me how many ladybugs are here all together. And that's what we're going to put right here. So I'm looking to see who's raising their hand. Look on your screen. See if your hand is raised, because if it is, I might call on you. Mason, can you tell me how many there are all together? Five. Five, nice job. One, two, three, four, five. So down here, we're going to put a five with our pencil. 
there is a spot up here for your name. You do not have to put your name on this because it's on the front of your book. You will need to put your name on the homework pages though, and I will show you those when we get to the homework. So that's all we needed to do for this part. You need to show me that you have three here. One, two, three, and two more. One, two. So to even show that even better, we could put a three and a two. Teacher, I didn't get one. Do you have your packet? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I didn't get one. I want you to check again, and if you can't find it, I will um see if we can get one sent over to you if you're not coming into the school tomorrow, okay? So for today, Angela, I'm just going to have... Okay, right, for today, I'm going to have you watch, and then um I will see if we can get you a book sent over if you can't find yours, okay? Okay. okay. All right, first grade, go ahead and turn the page. You should see these cats up here. All right. This first part says model and draw. They have two cats here, and that's why they wrote two cats. And, remember when you see this word and? They want us to think of a plus sign. Two cats and one more cat. Here's one more cat. All together we have one, two, three cats. So we're gonna we're gonna trace over that three just like they did. This part they don't have the answer in here, so this is where we need to fill it in ourselves. This one says three fish. One, two, three. And remember, and means plus one more fish. So, Deleza, how many fish are all together here? Three fish plus one more. Say, um, four. Four. So, we're going to put a four here. Nice job. You're on page 14. Okay, this one down here, four Bs, and, remember, and means plus, four more Bs. So we need to add these four plus four more. I am going to call on Paulina. Paulina, you're raising your hand. Can you tell me how many Bs are all together? We have four plus four. Four. Eight. Eight. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see how I crossed them out as I counted? Eight Bs all together. Before I page, we're going to go to page 15 now. There's some butterflies up here. So just like on this side, we're going to be adding them all together. Angela, we have two butterflies and, so we put a plus sign, four more butterflies. Angela, can you tell me how many are all together? Six. Nice job. One, two, three, four, five, six. I knew you guys would be so ready for this. Super, super awesome job. All right. This next one is for Adrian. Adrian, we have four ladybugs and three more ladybugs. Adrian, how many are all together?
Seven. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you guys are crossing them out just like I am. And we're going to put seven. Nice job, Adrian. Okay. This one down here, boys and girls, we're just going to skip over it for right now. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. I just want you to take your uh, pencil and just kind of cross it out like that. Some of these ones we're skipping because um, we have a lot of pages to go through. And we want to make sure that we're getting all of the stuff covered that will be on your test. Because these Go Math tests are a little bit more tricky than our last test that we were taking. But I want to make sure that we have enough time to go over all of the stuff that you'll see on the test. This one you won't see, so we're just going to skip it. We're going to turn the page. And this is our last page before we talk about homework. Okay? Up here you're going to see that it says practice and homework. So, we will be talking about what it looks like to complete these. But first let's do this page with the birds. This is the time where you are going to need your crayons. So make sure you have your crayons. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to make sure that you have your crayons out. You need a red. And you need a blue. Those are the only two colors you need. If your red is... If you don't have blue, um, use just use something else that kind of looks like blue, okay? Just make sure it's not two reds, because that'll get a little tricky. Okay, so this one says color the birds to show how to solve. All of the birds are white right now, but we're going to be coloring them. This is going to tell us what colors we need to color them. There are three red birds. So I'm going to take my red crayon, I'm going to circle that three, and I'm going to color three red birds. Watch how quickly I color. Because it's not art class, I'm not going to take a super long time to color them. I'm just going to color quickly, like this. One, two, three. There are three red birds. Some blue birds join them. How many blue birds are there? So we need to look at the picture and decide, okay, these three are red and some blue birds join them. So we are going to color the rest of the birds blue that are still white. So. Nicholas, how many birds are blue? Two. Two. So we're going to color these two with our blue. Ooh, I got like a teal blue, it looks like. And then I'm going to put a two right here with my blue crayon because we know there are two blue birds. So we have three red, take your pencil and write this here, and, remember when we say and, we mean plus two bluebirds. All together, Petra, how many are all together? Five. Five, nice job. I have somebody that's unmuting. Make sure you stay muted unless I call on you so we're not taking away um, someone's learning. Nice job, Petra. We have three plus two more, and we have five all together. Okay. Circle how many ants in all. So right here it tells us we have three ants. One, two, three. And that means plus. Two more ants. One, two. For the answer, they gave us three different choices. They say three, four, or five. We need to circle whatever one is true. So solve three plus two, 
and then I'm going to call on somebody to tell me what the answer is all together. Paulina, do you know how many answer all together? Five. So it's not this one. That's a three. It's not this one. That's four. We're going to choose five. So you only circle the true answer. Okay. So boys and girls, that is the part that we are going to be doing together every single day. One, two, three, four pages that we do together. And then there's a homework page and it is front and back. We aren't, we aren't gonna do this page, this is for tomorrow. That's a whole new lesson. This is the page that I'm asking you guys to bring back to the school during packet pickup. So this is your homework page. This is what you get points for, for your grade. So watch what I do. I'm gonna rip it out. It's okay if you don't stay on this line. It'll just rip nicely, and it comes out like that. So, look here. This is page 17 and page 18. You just rip one page out. Now, we can close our book. Today, I'm going to be doing the homework with you. But it's super important to know that you guys will be asked to do this by yourself at home. So if there are parts on here that you need help with that, are, that um, takes some reading, that's when you want to ask a grown-up or an older brother or sister to help you, okay? If I ever tell you that you're going to cross a problem out, that means that it's not on the test. And we just want to make sure that we are really sticking to the parts that will be on the test so that we have time to get through all of the chapters. So this is homework, so your name needs to be on it. And you don't have to put it on both sides. You can just put it here. So this is to be brought back to the school. So return Thursday in packet. And I will put on the schedule that I'm looking for this math page. Everyone should be bringing this back because we're doing it together. If you don't have your packet, I will make sure that you get your, um, your Go Math book, okay? All right, I'm going to be calling on students to help me solve these problems. Your job is to make sure you do this with me so you know what's expected for your math homework. Cruz, can you hear me? Uh, Cadence, I need you to have your video turned off. Thank you. Deleza, I'm going to call on you first. Deleza, five horses and, I want everyone to put a plus sign above and, three more horses. Right here, we're going to put how many all together? Go ahead, Deleza. Okay, I'm gonna come back to you. Cadence, can you tell me tell me how many are there all together? Five horses plus three horses. Okay, hang on, Mason, really quick, and then I'll help you out. Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So everyone put an eight. Mason, can you turn your video on so I can see? 
I've got it now. Okay, awesome. So it should say 17 at the bottom. Okay. All right, Mason, now that you have your paper ready, can I have you do number two for me? Three dogs and two more dogs. Good job. One, two, three, four, five. My next helper is Paige. Paige, there are two rabbits. One, two. Five rabbits join them. So that's where we're going to put a plus sign right here. Five rabbits join them. One, two, three, four, five. How many rabbits are there now? We want to count all the rabbits together. Seven. Great job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rabbits. Good job. All right. This one we are drawing a picture. So remember, our math pictures are super quick. They're usually just shapes. Angela. Four dogs and one more dog. So how many dogs do I draw first? Four dogs and one more dog. Did you say my name? Yes. How many dogs do I draw first? Four and then one. Nice job. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and draw that. And one more. Do you know how many there are all together, Angela? Five. Nice job. One, two, three, four, five. Our math problem would be four plus one equals So that's one side of our homework page. We still have this side to do. Usually, the problems on the back are a little bit more easy than these ones because these ones will be review. And review means we've already done it. But because this chapter... Okay, I will give you guys just about one more minute. How about you use the raise hand button to let me know you're ready? I'm going to put all hands down and then go ahead and raise when you're ready. Okay, now all hands are down. Nice job, Nicholas. Nice job, Cadence. Okay, Mason, are you all ready? Yes. Okay. About 20 more seconds and then we'll go to the other side. I have six people ready. Deleza, Angela, Go ahead and use the raise hand button to let me know you're ready. Paulina, Adrian. Nicholas, you'll be my first helper on this next side. Nicholas, this says, how many birds are there? Write the number. Two birds and six more birds. Nice job. That was super quick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this stuff is review. This is the kind of stuff we did on the other math that we were doing before we got the Go Math books. This is a lot of counting. So, Cruz, how many horses are there? Write the number. Four. 
Six. Six. Good job. Let's cross them out as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we put a six over here. Done now. Okay. Adrian, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Adrian, how many rabbits are there? Write the number. Six. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. All right, Deleza, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, sure. Deleza, how many dogs are there? Write the number. Remember to cross them out as you count. Nine. Yes, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bubble stick. All right. So, like I said earlier, I won't be doing these with you all the time. This was our first Go Math homework, and so I wanted to make sure that you guys did this so you knew exactly what to do um, and to do both sides. Remember to put your name on it. This needs to come back to school in your packet. This is homework. I want you to go up here and look for the word homework. It starts with an H. Homework. Teacher. Yes. Uh, can, can you bring my math book here to my house? I will make sure that you get your math book, okay? First thing before I do that is I want you to go and double check your packet and see if it's in there. Okay? I already checked. I already checked. Okay. So I will make sure that you get um, a Go Math packet, okay? So Angela, what you'll need to do is, is watch this video when I put it on YouTube later today, okay? After you get your Go Math book, you'll watch this video. Um, because you already sat through and watched these pages, I'm not going to ask you to do these ones that we just did, Angela. Um, but I do want you to make sure you do your homework once you get your book, okay? So this page doesn't go back in your book, it goes into your folder. So go put this inside of your um, packet for your folder, and um, that way you'll remember to bring it back to the school. You will have a homework page for each unit. So we just finished unit 1.1, lesson 1.1. The next one we do has homework again. So here's the one for tomorrow. Here's the work we do together, and there's the homework. Do you see how it looks like the same at the top? That's how you know it's homework. Please, please make sure that you are not doing these ahead of time. I don't want you to rush through the whole book and work ahead of me, because there's lots of stuff that we need to talk about for each of these um, lessons. So we're gonna do these together, except for the homework. We will slowly do the homework together, until I just let you do it all by yourself. You guys have about 20 minutes until